the Atacama skeleton, only six inches long. In the first, second, and third generation of genetic engineering, most of the experiments are failures. Cloning certain proteins that make DNA markers smaller or, if needed, bigger is here today. The technology has been around for quite a few years now. The Atacama skeleton was not the first to be found in the deserts of Chile. Here's another example of it. But what we're talking about here with cloning certain proteins and splicing them is water-breathing applications. Yes, to be able to splice DNA from fish with human DNA. The technology is here today. Yes, in many South American countries, the technology is here. The experiments have been going on for many years. Adding silk-making applications to the human DNA gene is already here. So what I'm about to tell you is the Atacama skeleton is a genetic engineering experiment failure. But you really cannot think of it as failure because the experiment lived for six to eight years. So it was not really a failure. Many people think the Illuminati is in control of this technology. And if you think it's not possible, take a look at this picture of a glow-in-the-dark pig. Yes, adding the glow-in-the-dark DNA from jellyfish or fireflies. That's, this is what you get, a glow-in-the-dark pig. The technology is here. It's already being used in many South American countries. Hence, where did they find the Atacama skeleton? In the driest desert in the world, the Atacama Desert, which made a perfect burial ground for this genetic engineering test, experiment, failure, if you will. Many people think mad scientists are responsible for these type of things. And yes, anybody who created this transhuman has to be a mad scientist out of his mind. Transhuman, hybrids of humans and animals, very much happening in South America today. As I said, the Atacama skeleton on the right which was made into a big movie, was not the first one found. The one on the left was represented by Ripley's Believe It or Not many years ago. As I said, this genetic engineering capabilities are here today. You can order a baby with blue eyes. You can order your baby with blonde hair. That technology is here today. If you have the money, you can get it done. And of course, bringing back our tail that we lost a million years ago, not only possible, it's being done today because mad scientists are splicing our DNA. They're adding jellyfish DNA. They're adding spider and firefly DNA. They're, they're adding every single thing you would ever imagine. They're adding it to human DNA and the experiments are then monitored most of them are failures. They bury them out in the driest desert in the world, hoping nobody will ever find them. But the mad scientists, they keep on going. They'll never, ever leave. Mad scientists are mad. They're going to add every single DNA sequence from every animal, plant, anything they can think of. They will add it to the human DNA. They will try to produce humans that, quite frankly, God doesn't want around.